What's up, y'all? I'm Jack, and this is Jack Reacts. And for today's reacts, y'all, we got a throwback today. A little throwback. We got Freddie Jackson, Rock Me Tonight for Old Time's Sake. I saw this song commented the other day, along with a couple other songs by Freddie Jackson. I don't think I've reacted to him on the channel, which is a shame. You know, I don't know too, too much about him, but obviously, you know, this is a legend right here. This is a classic artist. And I also feel like it's been a minute since I've done some, you know, old school R&B on the channel. So I'm excited for this. We won't talk too long. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Nice. Starting the vibes all right. It's a little bit of a longer song, by the way. It's like seven or eight minutes, so I'm not complaining. Mm. hook right there this said uh, this sounds like like a breezy summer day you get what i'm saying i love it one thing i love about uh old school songs that i mentioned this before it's just it's been a while since i reacted to like a like an old school r&b song is i love how they structure them you know i, I mentioned a second ago just a little bit of a longer song and uh, it, it's like you got a verse you got a pre-chorus you got you got a chorus you got a post-chorus you got bridges you got a lot of different parts of the song you know most newer music is like you get a verse you get a chorus maybe you get another verse and then you know the song's over so i, I really appreciate that there's a lot of different change-ups and different chords and different melodies i like that y'all know that I'm, a, I'm about my production i just love music in general so i really appreciate things like that aside from the the musical element of it though really really am liking uh, the lyrics of this he's really painting a picture here really painting a picture it's like i can envision everything he's saying uh on this song very romantic and i like that you know what i'm saying this is my type of vibe right there i like a good little romantic song I love that right there. We get those vocal stacks like that. Yeah. I just love everything about this. So those instruments. Like the guitar. So 
I like how the pre-chorus is like it builds up and builds up and it almost drops into the chorus, right? The chorus is usually more of like a climax. It's like the verse will build up and then the explodes into the chorus. This is a little bit different. The pre-chorus, it's like that's the climax and it resolves in the chorus. I think that's interesting. I like that. It's a little bit different. It makes it like, it adds to that kind of breezy vibe. You know, for old time's sake, which would you want to rock with me tonight? Listen to the strings in the background. I like those as well, very subtle. Really, really good production, man. I'm like, <laughs> I'm nerding out over the production on this. This is this has a really, really good sound. I'm excited to hear. I'm assuming we're gonna get a bridge. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I doubt it. It's an old school R&B song. We're probably gonna get a bridge. I'm excited to see uh, the route that they're gonna go on. That that Freddie's gonna go on that. I like how they're letting the instrumentation breathe a little bit too. There you go again, that's that climax, I'm gonna drop into the hook. Very catchy. Better yeah. play this on. Um, play this on live stream. We probably have before. I just forgot. <laughs> Actually, there might not be a bridge on this. They might. I think they're just gonna let it rock out. That's okay. And I'm gonna let it rock out. I'm not gonna cut it off early. Which is another thing that I can appreciate about. And I've, I've talked about this before about some of them older. Not just R&B songs, but just older songs in general, older soul songs, R&B, hell, whatever genre. Did they kind of take their time on the outros? You know what I mean? I think with the newer model of streaming, you make more money per stream. The the, the bigger the percentage of the song that the listener is listening to. I didn't explain that perfect, but you get what I'm saying. So if you put out like a minute song, it's one minute long. Well, it's very short. You know, most of your listeners are probably gonna listen to the whole song. You're gonna get a lot more money from that, right? But if you put out like a 10 minute song, you know, if it's a really, really, really good song, you know, there's gonna be people that listen to the whole thing, but a lot of people, they might listen to a minute or, or two minutes of it, and that's only 10 or 20% of the songs. So you don't get paid as much. So I think a lot of the newer artists, they figure that out, and obviously they're trying to make as much money as possible. So they put out really, really short songs. So that's what's pushed uh, today is short, 
quick song. Well, obviously back in the day, there was no streaming. It's vinyl or, you know, CDs, whatever the case. So that, so that doesn't matter. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Did they, you know, they take their time. They take their time to introduce the song, to close the song. You know, this was seven minutes right here, but it flew right by. Shout out to uh, Freddie Jackson. Thank you to all y'all who recommended this to me. Definitely, definitely enjoyed this. I would love to do some more, you know, old school R&B on the channel in addition to everything else that I'm uh, reacting to. Y'all comment some more songs you want me to check out down below. Y'all have a blessed day and peace.